In AX2012 R3 CU10, we've released a number of little improvements for the put-away process on the inbound operations. Today I'll demo a scenario where John will need to move some inventory out of a location before he completes a put-away operation. Imagine the following situation. Inbound work has been created to put away half of a pallet of item WHS. The location directives determined that it should be put into put lock one, but we also have some additional inventory in put lock two and put lock three, which are right next to this location. As you can see on the screen, put lock two has a number of pieces of item WHS two, while put lock three has a pallet uh, or a license plate with half a pallet of item WHS and also one piece of item WHS two. Not a very efficient way of storing inventory. Just to quickly show you the data in AX, you can see I have three locations, the put lock one, two, and three. The first one is empty. The second one has 49 pieces uh, of item WHS2, and the third one has on the same license plate both item WHS half a pallet and item WHS2 one piece. And there is inbound work for the purchase order um, to pick up one half pallet from the receiving dock and put it to the uh, put lock one. John is ready to start executing the put away work. He logs into the mobile device and goes to his purchase put away menu, scans in the target license plate, sees the instructions that he needs to pick it up at the receiving location, goes there, takes it on his forklift, and now drives to the put locations, where he sees that the location that he's supposed to put the items in is empty, but the same items are lying on a pallet right next to the one that he's on. This is the point where John decides that he will override the put away location from put lock one uh, to put lock three, where a half pallet of the same item is located. And he can do that because he is an experienced warehouse worker and therefore has the appropriate configuration in AX. The configuration that allows him to override the put location is located in the worker form for the respective warehouse user from the, for the mobile device. As a result, he has on the put step of the put away operation, he has an extra button which is called override location. You can also note that we have a split put button, which is also something new that was added in CU10, where John would be able to put some of the goods into one location, some into another, uh, depending on the situation. In this case, John is going to click override location, select the exception, of why he's doing that and the reason is that there was a better put location as we just described and going to scan in put lock 3 which is a better match but the half pallet that he wants to put will not fit on the license plate because there is this extra one piece of item WHS2 on it so what John wants to do is to temporarily pause the execution of the uh, the inbound work and do a movement of this one item to a different location. Starting with CU10, John is actually able to do that. So he's able to cancel out of a put step. That means that the, the put step on the work will be reset to open status and the on hand will stay on the user location, the special user location for John. So John is now able to create a, an inventory movement of item WHS from put location three to put location two. He presses on the movement button in his menu, scans in the location which he wants to move the goods from. Since there's only one license plate in it, it gets recognized automatically, but there's more than one item. Um, so we need to scan in which one it is that we actually want to move. As you can see, the movement also supports moving the entire license plate at once. 
but we scan in the item and there is just the one piece in there and we will place it in put location 2 on LPWHS003 which is the one already present in that location. Now work is completed we can see it if we look at all the closed work that we have uh, an inventory movement happened for this item. With the inventory movement complete we now have a full palette in uh, put location 2 and John should be able to continue with the put away operation from where he left off. However, he does not want to put yet another license plate in put location 3. Instead, he would like to put the items from the target license plate he's carrying to the license plate that is already in the location, LPWHS001. So John is now going back to the purchase put away uh, menu item, scans in the target license plate that he was carrying, and as you can see, he is immediately directed to the put step. However, as I said, he wants to now overwrite the license plate and put it to a different license plate instead of the one that he's carrying it on. So he's going to put it into LPWHS001, which is the one already present in the location. With that, the work is complete. And if we check the on hand, we can see that all 50 pieces are now in that location and are on just the one license plate. The configuration that allowed John to override the license plate is done on the mobile device menu item with a parameter called override license plate during put. As you just saw, John was able to cancel out of a put away operation, temporarily pausing it. He was able to do something else in the meantime, specifically moving inventory out of a location. He was also able to override both the location for the put away as well as the license plate to put the items into. So these are some of the uh, improvements that we have released uh, with CU10, but which are also downloadable as a separate hotfix. I have also listed a link that describes the inventory movement uh, capabilities available in the system today. Thank you for watching.